Hey guys, Mike here. Well, I wanted to do a video on how I heat up the back of my basement in a very quick time. Now, how I do this is by running two of my heaters on high, uh, both 1500 watts, to give me a total of 3000 watts. On the mains, that's about 24 amps. They're both on separate circuits. One's on the 20 amp and one's on the 15 amp for the basement. Um, now, one thing you should note is when you are running heaters with extension cords, please use 14 gauge and under because, unfortunately, most extension cords, like little home use extension cords, are 16 gauge, and that's where your fires happen. This right here, around, well, because it's going around, it's actually cold. All this line is cold here. So basically back here I got two of my radiant ones going. And uh, it's pumping out about 3,000 watts max, and it's getting warm back here. I've had it running for a little while before the video. Put on this light here. And it's actually getting pretty nice. And I have a third one up there. Back there, if you can see it. Do, 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 there it is. So this is how I heat up my work area back here. I cannot wait until all this junk is cleared out and we build our other workbench over here when we get that fish tank out and all that junk out. All this junk has to go because as I've said we're building a workbench there, a workbench back there with a nice big long fluorescent. We're going to build a wall here with a door and there's going to be an island here for other work stuff. I'm going to have heating back here and that little 7 inch uh, exhaust fan there. That's actually a fan tech but Dayton makes the exact same model. It's going to be up in the window here so if I'm painting or you know exhaust and my window fan is done. I did the caulking around the fan and then I had to put bolts in here and here because those uh, other screws just the, the wood is too thin here so that's why. This is only temporary. I'm getting a good cord for that. I'm getting hot standing here. Um, besides that, I thought I'd let you know, I'm doing something interesting. In case power outages, I'm putting in a 12-volt backup lighting system. I'm going to have a good 12-volt supply with a couple amps, maybe a 20-amp supply of 12 volts. I'm going to have two 75-watt 12-volt bulbs back here. I'm going to have a, t you know, I guess I'll put that 25-watt one over here. Um, so it's going to be my little backup lighting system. I have the 25-watt... Uh, low voltage bulb right here. Let me get it opened. I have a uh, low life on this camera. If any of you don't know, I'm going to New York first thing in the morning tomorrow. have videos of the air conditioners at my grandfather's apartment. And... Do you hear that? That's the damn toilet. <laughs> that thing is fucking insane, man. Something's wrong in the back. Something. Um, yeah. So... Here's the light bulb, and uh, as you can see, 25 watt, 12 volt, and uh, it's pretty cool. So, I've lit it up before, and it does actually a pretty good job. And as you can see, that toilet is very loud. I hate it. I can't wait to get the piece of shit replaced. So anyway, or I think my dad says the ball cock thing in the back, or that, that flapper thing or whatever. The, the float thing or whatever, so yeah. But uh, anyway, uh, this is going to be my emergency 12 volt lighting, plus I'm going to have... um a big inverter so I can run motors and shit and I'm gonna have a big 12 volt battery to do it all off of so yeah um, that's mainly an update on what's going on back here and uh, I thank you for watching and that's how I heat up my shop in a jiffy